Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mod 7. So, been a little busy between episodes. Uh, first thing I did was I uh, actually upgraded our enchanting sort of setup thing. Uh, and I've made one of these, the enchantment library. And I really want to make the library of Alex thingy. Uh, let's just do Alex. No, because Alex will bring up. Oh, no, it won't. Ah, there you go. Uh, yeah, fine. There we go. So I really want to make this, which is the level capacity goes up by like quite a lot, but I don't know how to get there from here. Uh, also, I chucked a bunch of books in here, so I, all of my levels have gone down by a lot. Ooh, that, that reminds me. Uh, did I ever turn off? my taps over here. I did. This is loud. I should turn all of the sounds off for these, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, another thing that I did was I... If I jump up here... Uh, oh, I turned all of this into white concrete because I thought it'd fit better. Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot about that. So... What this, this is doing here is, uh, wow, all of these should be turned on, although it doesn't look like it is. Uh, let, let me back out. There you go. Eh. None of these being hurt. Are all of these on now? They should all be on. I think it's a graphical thing. No, it looks like only that one is on. Very weird. Um, yeah, I did put like thingies underneath all of these. So if I pop down here, yeah, they've got all of these. They are all currently on by the looks of it. Yeah, they are by the looks all currently on. Oh. Crap, I need to put all of these back in here. Right, back in a sec. Right, there we go. That's all of them back in there. So, they're all off. Wow, that's a lot. So if I do a redstone signal, I think they're now all on. And you can see them all getting like heavily damaged, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, I have got myself... Well, I tried to enchant the uh, Morgan with my old setup and it didn't go very well so I need to remove this enchant or I need to make a new one which is why I've got this uh, the lovely chaps in my uh, discord channel were talking about chucking nether stars in first and then chucking something with smite in because uh, it needs to be an enchanted so if we let's get out of here because that is going up nicely and I have got a couple of mana diamonds, attuned diamonds, which I've been just spamming whenever I've got free mana. Uh, yeah, my uh, my levels have hurt, have been hurting quite a bit. Luckily, this has given me a, a few levels. I did break this earlier. I just broke this because before it was like storing all of the XP. That is a point. I'll go back to my home. Yeah, come down here. This one here. Okay, that didn't give me as much as I was hoping for, but that's fine. Maybe the one over here. I really need to tidy this up, by the way. <laughs> yeah, again, that didn't give me much. That is fine. Uh, all of these are still turned on, by the way. I really need to turn this one off <laughs> at some point. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was... Uh... So... Yeah, I was doing some stuff with Apotheosis, and this enchantment library, which was, I think, okay to craft, it was getting a couple of these infused hell shelves, which is just a hell shelf, which is just this. So I made a bunch of potions of regen, which Garstia and Netherwart, and we have got a really good way of making Garstias now which is this way. 
So I just did this because we got a ton of spider eyes from our mob farm. Ton of sugar as well because of the um, witches, I think, drop sugar. And we got loads of these uh, generalized nether predictions uh, because we got a bunch of stuff going through here. Predictions. Yeah, look, there we go. Tons. We've got loads of these um, generalized ender predictions as well, which is how I made all of these nether stars. Because uh, if you remember, this is how you can make them. So that's how I've been doing it. But yeah, I made a bunch of these house shelves because I was trying to get to the Library of Alexandria thing. But this thing here seems pretty boss anyway. <laughs> uh, and I'm just basically just doing this so I could get a really good like couple of enchants on my Morgan. And then someone said, you can increase the innate cap, which right now on this one is 100, by... When you make the Caliburn, originally, you chuck a bunch of nether stars in first. So I think this is the, the max, and it goes up to 5 mil for the innate cap, which means, yeah, it just goes ridiculous at that point. I think maybe 5,000 is the highest, like, damage. And basically, at 5,000 we can one-shot everything, including the ender dragon, which is the whole reason we went for this. <laughs> So, I was actually looking to get some smite, but the only point, the only problem is with smite, is I already did this, and I forgot to put the nether stars in, so, I don't know if I've got enough to do that again, but you just click this until it tells you you can't do anymore. So I've got that, and now, yeah, I've only got a few more in there for, for that, so... If I do this, what's that? V, so six, seven, eight? No, five, six, seven, so like seven, I think that is. Uh, if I go back, to, well, let's have a sleep first. Quick sleep. There we go. So if we hop back to the colony. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why I'm going like, like, whenever I uh, come out of flight, like that. And that is because I've got this cloud in a bottle. I just thought it was quite funny. You can double jump. And I've replaced the obsidian skull thing that we had. So now we've got this anyway, and we've got like a ton of mana. Yeah, so that one's full. This one, oh, we can get full pretty quickly. Almost full. Okay, if we spam this, it should be full now. Yeah, there we go. So we got two full attuned diamonds. Uh, I want to chuck... Oh, that's a point. I don't know if I have to actually, like, Q chuck those in. As in, use the the button to throw them in myself. Right, there you go. So I've got these in my hand, so I can just sit shift Q. Okay, there's no way of doing that. I'm just going to chuck them in like this. And then with the diamond sword, we just chuck that in. That makes the caliber. Again, if this doesn't have a different cap on it, I'm going to be a little annoyed. There you go. That's a ridiculous cap. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Right, I do have to go and show this to the doggo. And he's going to turn it into another Morgan for us. In fact, we are going to put this Morgan away. And I'm just going to use my warp stone to get home. Doggo is sat right over here. I need to go disable save your pets. So I'll go and do that really quick and then we'll be back in a sec. And we are back. Doggo approves. We now have... Oh, yeah, yeah. The damage on this is not great to begin with, but we can go and show this to a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of our villagers downstairs. I forgot about that. Doggo, hello. 
There you go. Sit back down. Oh, that's an annoying noise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I also have both these mana diamonds, right? So... I don't know which one it's going to take out first. I think I need the finishing blow. Come on. Oh, it looks like we might be sustaining now. Unless I'm completely missing all of these villagers. Let's... Let's turn that off, turn that off. And then all of these villagers are mine. Although we aren't now increasing our mahal. That is fine because we've got two whole mana diamonds worth. Oh, it's the one next to my my sword, see? The one where it's like, like that. I don't actually hit a villager. So it's the one where you hear this like crack sound, that's the one where... There we go. Alright, we turn these back on as well, so... But yeah, this should be increasing... Yeah, it's now at 18. I think at some point we'll get it so we can like one-shot any of these villagers and we should be fine and I could set up a macro like everyone seems to do but okay maybe we aren't one shot in them I need to find like a good angle to hit the villagers at but yeah this is basically getting us a badass sword that we can use and actually I need to leave this on because it's giving us Mahal <laughs> increasing our Mahal quite a lot when I logged on this morning to, to play this uh, I had about 300 Mahal and I just left this running whilst I was messing about with the enchanting area and yeah look now I've got over 2000 it's pretty good I think the max is 20,000 from what I've seen from pictures from my Discord. But yeah, I don't know if I'm just going to sit here. It's, it's 23 right now. Anyway, we can leave that. And we could probably fill up one of our mana diamonds. Maybe fill this one up first because it's closer. What's it doing? Um... Amazingly, that's super loud though. Yeah, that's not doing like amazingly on experience right there, but we've got this thing up here, gives us a decent amount of experience. That was a lot of experience. Was it? Yeah. Anyway, so if we pop back to our home. Now we've got this, now we can enchant the Morgan. And I don't know what to put on here. Knowledge of Ages is interesting. I think this is the one where it turns... No, one of these. Is it Scavenging? Scavenger. This thing. This one's really cool. Because what it does is it has a chance to convert the items that you would get into experience. So you sacrifice or you scavenge the experience from the items so that one would be really cool i don't think we put it on the the morgan though because we're going to use this for like damage basically smite you can only have smite or sharpness is that it smite or sharpness i think we were going for smite previously and now we really want sharpness so yeah, I don't know what the best idea is to get sharpness, but what I've been doing is I've just been chucking these books in here. Nature's Mend is one of those. One of the things... Oh, by the way, these books can only accept enchantments for weapons, so you're more likely to get like sharpness and looting instead of fortune. Um, but... Oh, that's a point. 
I should have a good amount of looting in here. Oh yeah. Only goes up to loot in five though. Hmm. I don't know what the best idea is to like set up a, an automation for this. Uh, someone in my Discord's probably got a really good one, but for me, I've just been doing this, and that gets us a bunch of stuff. That was looting three that was in there. So let's just bump the looting up by a little bit. So we could get a looting five if we clicked on this, but. Yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, actually, I might do that. I might just get looting 5 really quick. Or is that looting 4? I think that's looting 5. Oh, one more. There you go, looting 5. And we can slap this on the Morgan. Mob drops. Mobs will drop more loot when killed. Nice. What else do we want? Capturing seems pretty good, but we've got the swab method, so we don't actually need to do that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got... I don't know where I got protection. Oh, I just chucked all of my books in here, so that's why that's in there. Sharpness. We probably could do with a bit of sharpness on here as well. So there's sharpness 5. Sweep and edge might be a good one because of the villagers. So that's... That much. I think that's sharpness six, if I'm not mistaken. Unbreaking might be a good idea as well, just because I don't think we can get mending on this. We might be able to get mending. I don't think I put a mending one in here though. Um, hashtag mending. I could get it off this again. I've been saying this for ages. I should just get it off this. And in fact, let's go do that. Disenchantment book. We are literally right here, so we might as well do it. Quickly run over here. We've got ourselves a mending book. You can't take mending. Ah, that's interesting. Oh, uh, no, we don't want to do that. I do want to put mending on my boots, though. Which one was it? This one. Uh, and then we can go get all of the experience when we go back. So we do that and that. We've now got a sweeping edge, six, sharpness, something. So that should be a good weapon now to go and kill all of those villagers and get even more damage. Because right now it's 27, which is still pretty good. But it will, well, we can get it up to, yeah, like two points a million. So let's pop back to the lab. Zoom over here. Did I just sweep an edge of all of those? I did. Wow. That must have... Oh, look at all my mana. My, um... <laughs> I just used all of it. That was a lot of kills right there. Oof. I, w I really want to know what this number did. It must have gone from like two. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll have a look and then I'll put it maybe here. How much this jumped up by? That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So what I could do now is just sit here and macro this. Yeah, that's a lot of villager kills right there. If I do that. <laughs> Five, so we can get it up pretty quick. We just need the mana for it. So, and this is also providing us. I keep saying mana, but it's not. It's mahal. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and get this up. I might actually go around and swap out some of the uh, the blocks that I haven't done yet for concrete because I was making concrete. Uh, back up over in our base. So my concrete setup over here. I could slap a crafter literally right here and it could just feed in some, well, whatever type of con concrete we want 
and it would produce it. But effort. <laughs> Um, one thing I should say as well is we only have a few more episodes of all the mods left because what episode are we on now? Episode 48 and I want to make 50 my last episode of all the mods just because, oh hello, no don't land, there you go. I think um, that's quite a lot of episodes. And this mod pack hasn't really updated in the past little while. So I want to move on to other mod packs. I hope that's okay with everybody. But yeah, that's that's the plan. Is We're going to get up to 50, which is a nice round number. And then we'll uh, move on to a different mod pack. Probably Enigmatica 6 Expert. A bunch of people were saying a while back that I should do an expert mode pack because I seem to know what I'm doing. I really don't. So <laughs> anyway, I've rambled for a little bit now and I've cleaned this up already. Ooh, missed one. There we go. And I'm just going to sweep an edge all of these and we're going to get a bunch of, hopefully, a bunch of damage on this sword. And then we're going to go meet our old friend, the Ender Dragon. So I haven't done anything yet except for fill up all of these June diamonds. So we've got 60, 60,000. Plus we've got 30, yeah, we've got 3, 3.4 thousand on our person. So we should be able to sweep and edge that amount. Ooh, it takes like our entire amount that we had up here plus like most of a mana diamond. Eek. So... Yeah, we've got a couple of swings of this. I don't know how much this is increasing. 44. That's a lot. I should probably let these start cramming before I... Uh, or at least like... Yeah, there you go. That one crammed. And I don't know if you have to do the swipe, but I've been doing it and it seems to... Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it seems to uh, need the swipe. I've never used Sweeping Edge before, if I'm honest. But anyway, let's continue on with this and see how how much damage we can get. Uh, of course there was a barbarian attack. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, that's been happening quite a lot. I'm going to pick up all of their stuff because well, why the heck not? There we go. Right, back to killing villagers. That did, ooh, blimey, that did take quite a lot of durability just killing those, those bunch. Uh, but we're at 85 Attack speed. No, uh, 85 damage, right? Yeah. Right, back to killing villagers. Right, my attention span was not in it right there, so I am going to go and kill the end dragon a bunch of times. Because why not? So we are right here. I might need to move this. That's fine. We do. There you go. That's good. We do kind of need um, our bow. Oh yeah, we don't have any... Uh... Okay, let's just look at this dude over here. We need some experience to fly around again, remember? So... There you go, that'll do it. And there we go, that is our basic model achieved. Uh, where does this put us? Oh, in this base. Nice. Right next to over here. I didn't put one back in there, did I? Have I got another one in the end? I got one to the end portal, so that's fine. We can... At least dive back in, and then... Yeah, there we go. Oof, that was nearly, uh, nearly a whoops. Yeah, this is all where I had to dig out all of these because of uh, where the egg dropped. And I did grab, yeah, I did grab all of the eggs that happened with this. So, which side was it? I think it was this side.
and let's stick this back where it was, right here. Oh, hello. Well, that was a good, good amount of levels right there. So now we've got this. I'm not going to kill anymore because it's it's just repetitive after a while. I want to see how much. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Two thousand five hundred. We can easily achieve that. That should over time. That one failed. That's fine. Still grabs this though. Have all of these still got? Nope. Nope. They're all coming in fine. Yeah, there you go. That one disappeared. Sweet. Okay. Well, now we've got the Ender Dragon. This should, over time, go up to 100%. So which one was one that we had that wasn't up? 100%. So Chicken is in there. Pig. Yeah, all of these are now self-aware because they've been running for long enough. So we're going to get a bunch of those. I think next episode we'll do the Wither. Uh, I won't spend too much time on it because it's a bit repetitive. Oh, I didn't mention this. Um, I also put... Okay, it's gone now, but... I put a diamond pickaxe, which had unbreaking on it, in here. And what this does is it takes the durability from whatever's in the chest. And I just stuck a pickaxe in there. Oh, that one is chunking through that. <laughs> Amazing. That is filling that all the way up. Perfect. And that is my second one. I've got a bunch of these that I am slowly filling up. But yeah, I think that's kind of all we've got for this episode. If you have any suggestions, any more suggestions on what to do with the Morgan. Oh, I also slapped down a couple of these. Why have you stopped? Interesting. All of those have stopped for some reason. Wow, okay. Well, we'll sort that out at some point. Hopefully this one over here... Well, no, this one over here probably hasn't stopped. No. Uh, let's grab our diamonds out. I think I've got one in my system as well. Nope, just the one. That's one way to drain them. That'll get us a bit more... So it's over 100 now. It's pretty good. It doesn't go up that quickly now because we don't have enough mana really to do anything with this. I really wonder why this is stopped over here. These have been very flaky, all of these. It looks like there's no... They're not on, even though all of these are turned on. Let's grab that off the wall and have a quick play with this just to see. No, they kind of look like they've stopped. That's fine. I may end up removing... Ooh, a harvest moon. Nice. I may end up removing these. Or not these, but the uh, the thing that powers the ones under there. And just go for the old-fashioned. Use uh, either redstone and just like redstone it all the way down there. Or wireless redstone from RF tools. I think that that'll be easier. So we'll probably do that at some point. I wonder if this is still... Yeah, that's still working. That's still working as well. Interesting. Anyway, so that is now... Yeah, we're going to fill these up as we go. I did get myself a backpack before we leave. I'll just show you what was in here. Soddle. Brilliant. Got some beetroot seeds and some iron. Oh well. And I suppose we should also open up all of our shaders, because why not? Ah, some decent ones in there, I think. I don't know, I've never really used the shaders, but we've got them. Oh, we got a duplicate. Brilliant. Oh well. Right, anyway, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.